The registration of new number plates with trackers is costing 713,400 Uganda shillings for both a car and a motorcycle. Replacement of old ones will cost 150,000 Uganda shillings for vehicles and 50,000 Uganda shillings for a motorcycle. Kasita has called upon government to revisit this and clarify why prices of a new number are too high compared to replacement. These new number plates are going to cost 713,400 shillings per motorcycle, per motor vehicle. So the question we've asked them is that, okay, if I'm getting the same technology on the new vehicle at 713,400 shillings, why is it that for the same technology on this side, on a used one, or one which is already on the roads in Uganda, you are charging us 150,000 and 50,000 for a motorcycle. We have put to them the question, does this mean that this technology actually costs 50,000 shillings? According to Casita, there has been no sensitization to clarify to the public. There are questions on how safe people's data will be in the hands of police since the new number plates have technology to capture owners' data. We feel that there has not been adequate sensitization and we have, through our engagements, Ask the ministry that, yes, as much as you want to implement the first July deadline, please take a seat back, get to the masses, get to the people, go down to the border, border man, go to the car driver and sensitize him, explain to him what will be happening with his vehicle going forward. So as of now, we are still, uh, I, I think there has not been any mass sensitization and we are calling upon the ministry to carry out a mass sensitization regarding this project. They have for a very long time held uh, the, the, the flagship in relation to corruption in this country. And so we have asked ourselves, especially uh, in, in relation to security, how safe is our data in the hands of the Uganda police? Ntambi Michael, a representative from Safe Border and E-Traders, appeals to government to extend the implementation date of 1st July to a later date when they are ready and the public is well sensitized about the whole process. Government should extend the date of entering into force of the new regulations, that is the Traffic and Road Safety and Digital Registrations Regulations 2022, from being 1st of July 2023 to a later date when they have studied the proposal very well engaged all the stakeholders, listened to the concerns of the stakeholders, and when the stakeholders are comfortable with the new draft of the regulations, government can then proceed and enter into force or give these regulations legal recognition or official recognition in the country. Uganda is estimated to have close to 2.4 million vehicles and more than 1.4 million motorcycles. And if each of them is registered afresh, the government will rake up to 2.8 trillion Uganda shillings.